Welcome to My Life in Israel. Okay, uh, today we're going to have a history lesson and we're going to discuss this claim um, that the Arabs say that they're descended from the ancient Philistines, that they're called Palestinians because um, this is their land and they're, it's their land because they were descended from the ancient Philistines and the Canaanites. And I'm going to show you a video uh, first from Hamas um, indoctrinating children uh, into believing this and then and also a video from uh, Mahmoud Abbas from the PA uh, saying this to adults and also invoking this claim. And uh, this is a fairly new claim, but um, uh, I believe that they're making this claim because they can't win an argument uh, based on the facts any other way, uh, according to history, um, because um, there's the, the Jews have the Bible and they have archeological evidence of Jewish presence here going back um, to biblical times. And so the only way the Arabs can win the argument is to say that they were here before the original Israelites were here. And uh, anybody that knows history knows that this is a ridiculous claim. Uh, but somehow everybody in the West seems to believe it. And they believe it because, you know, the Arabs themselves are saying it. And um, they're very passionate about it and they're willing to fight for it. And it seems like um, I've noticed that whatever the pro-Israel side says, you know, I go to pro-Palestinian side, and they it, it, they um, say that literally, like anything that the pro-Israel side says, um, is either Zionist propaganda, or you know they just uh, legitimize and justify what the Palestinians do, the terror attacks, um, just the rockets, Hamas. Uh, they they feel that like anything is justified based on the fact that this is their land, that they claim that this is their land, and they, and so everybody believes it because they themselves are saying it and they're passionate about it and whatever. So um, this is the claim, and I don't understand um, how the Arabs believe it themselves other than uh, they've been just indoctrinated from the time that they were children in school. This is what they're taught. It's in all the media, um, and they believe it, and it's part of their Arab culture, and it's part of Islam. Um, to not question things, and to also um, to, frankly, uh, hate the Jews. Um, so it's not only um, the fact that they're fighting for this land and, and whoever was here, they would fight. It, it's, it's also because it's the Jews, but they don't, they whitewash that part of it and they uh, use the euphemism of the Zionists. It's really uh, just a euphemism for Jews, but that's a whole other issue I can go into. But uh, for another video. Um, so let's watch these videos and then I'll come back and talk more about it. <laughs> Because 
anybody, I mean, this is Islam 101. Everybody knows that um, Islam uh, is descended from the Ishmaelites. Um, Muhammad claims to be descended from one of uh, Ishmael's 12 sons. And so, um, and they settled in Arabia. That's why the Arabs are called Arabs. Now, they, they try to combine this because they call themselves Arabs and are proud to call themselves Arabs. And at the same time, they call themselves Palestinians, um, which is uh, two distinct uh, places and two distinct peoples. And um, like I said, people, they believe it because they've been indoctrinated to believe this. But it's also uh, more a part of Islam, uh, why they want to believe it and why they want to deceive the West that this is their land. Um, and they, they have to indoctrinate their children from the very beginning uh, with this nationalistic idea. Um, and if, because if they didn't, um, people would grow up just feeling that they're Arabs and Muslims and they belong in Arabia and not in Palestine. So um, uh, we're the Canaanites, first of all. This land during, when, first of all, this land when before the, the original Israelites settled here, it was not called Palestine, okay? The Philistines um, did not inhabit the whole land. The land was called the land of Canaan, okay? And the Philistines were only one tribe out of many tribes um, that settled in this land. And the Philistines and all the other tribes were actually all separate peoples and they all inhabited the same land, okay? And they were all polytheists, pagans. And um, the Philistines only encompassed, settled in the western coastline of uh, what's now Israel, uh, in Gaza, up along the coast, and up down um, until uh, Egypt and around Beersheba because there's, and there's actual biblical accounts of Abraham um, encountering uh, Philistines and he, Abraham lived in the land of the Philistines at one point. So, um, but then, and then you have Islam who uh, Muhammad is claimed to be descended from one of the sons of Ishmael. And where does Ishmael come from? That Ishmael is descended from Abraham, from um, Abraham's son, from his servant Hagar who was from Egypt. So um, on the one hand, they're, they're mixing Islam uh, with this whole idea that they're descended from the Philistines and Canaanites when it's impossible, literally impossible. And they're making these claims and they have no proof. They, they, they have no proof. They have no oral tradition. There's no tradition. There's nothing in the Quran um, saying that, oh, we long to go back to our land in Canaan or we long, long to go back to our land of the Philistines. Um, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Um, every archaeological thing that's dug up here, every time uh, there's new construction, there's always new archaeological things that are found that proves um, uh, not Arab, but Jewish um, origins in this land. Jews have lived in this land for 3,000 years, continuously. There has been some number of Jews, even with the Arabs, the Jews lived. Everybody knows that. So um, so I'm going to show you, we'll, we'll look at a map of the land of Canaan and where the Philistines were. And then we're going to look at a map of where the Ishmaelites settled. And then we'll come back and talk. Okay. So now I'm going to show you another clip from Hamas from 2012, and um, it's a minister of Hamas um, talking to a minister in Egypt, begging for Egypt to help uh, Hamas supply uh, fuel to Gaza. And uh, this is very telling because this proves that uh, they are not descended from the Philistines or the Canaanites. Uh, Hamas clearly is wanting to portray themselves to the Egyptians as one of them, as Egyptians, as Arabs, as, Mus as Muslims. And why aren't the Egyptians helping the people in Gaza, their fellow Arabs, their fellow, fellow Muslims? And he says in the clip that half the people are from descended from Egyptians, the other half are descended from uh, Saudis. The, and it's based on what their literal last names are. Their last names, a lot of them are Al-Masri, which means Egyptian. 
now. And he, Hamas is clearly saying that, and he's admitted that, and he's admitting that the families um, that live in Gaza, the people that live in Gaza, are descended from Egyptians and Arabia, Saudis, and Yemen, and so forth. So th this is my proof. This is not Zionist propaganda. This is literally coming from Hamas's mouth. This is, this is the deception that they're doing to deceive everyone, to make everybody think that, they, that this is their land. They, they, on one hand, want to claim that they're Arab and Muslims and uh, want solidarity with other Muslims um, to help them. And then at the same time, they, they are doing this so that they want to get rid of the Zionists. But if you, if you listen to the whole video, he actually includes the U.S. in that as well. Hamas is not the West friend. Hamas does, does not care about America, Americans. He, he only cares about getting money from them. So this is all a deception, and I, I'm trying to uh, prove that to you right now. Um, if they, they decide, if they ever, God forbid, you know, actually accomplish getting rid of all the Jews and uh, conquering this land again, then they're going to come after America. They're coming after you, Americans. They, they, this isn't just about this particular land. This is the ideology of the Muslims, of Islam. This is jihad. He mentions it. He literally mentions that this is jihad. So um, this is the reality, people. This is the reality. They're not just fighting us. They're fighting the West. They're fighting everybody. They're fighting you. They're fighting America. They're fighting Europe. They, they, they would if they could. It's all a matter of time to them. So listen to the video and see for yourself. just some of you may say after listening to that that okay that's just got the uh, Hamas that's not uh, the Gaza people that you want to make a distinction between Hamas as a terrorist organization and uh, the Gaza the people of Gaza and that's not necessarily 
True. Um, the people of Gaza are still Arabs, they're still Muslims, and uh, they think the same. They still think that um, this is their land and that uh, they are willing to fight for it and they want Israel gone. And so a lot of them support Hamas. It's not just Hamas by itself doing everything. They have support. And you see in the video um, children being taught these things in school. You don't think the parents know that their children are being taught this? Um, there are literal um, summer camps in Gaza where uh, children go to learn actual military training um, with guns and military techniques. Like it's a, it's a literal military training camps for children and you don't, and the parents willingly send their children to these camps. So this idea that, you know, you want to say, oh, um, Israel is killing all, you know, children in Gaza when they fight back or whatever. The, the people in Gaza willingly uh, want their children to fight. Um, so this is not, they're they not innocent people. And uh, so this really needs to be told. And, but like I said, it all goes back to um, them thinking that this is the, their land. And so uh, this is why I'm making this channel is to show you um, whose land this is. And so I need to make another video about the Jewish claim to this land because some of you want to claim that the Jews that are here are not real Jews or not the original um, Jews. And so um, don't leave me any comments about that because I'm going to address that in another video. So until then, uh, share, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned because I have a lot more to say.